Okay, so um, here is a uh, kombucha starter kit recipe tip. If you happen to have purchased a uh, kombucha starter kit online, either from our company or uh, from somebody else, or if you happen to get a culture from a friend or something, when you begin to brew, um, I would lay out all the materials you need. This will do two things, you get organized. I know um, whenever I set up an Ikea furniture project, laying everything out is good while you're looking at the directions, either on paper or online. It will also buy you some time to make sure that your culture is at room temperature. And what I mean by this is that um, cultures, when they're shipped, go through different um, temperatures, right? Outside temperature during the summertime might be a little warm. Um, temperatures during the wintertime is going to be very, very cold. So also, if you get a frozen culture in the mail, which can happen, it's all good. The only thing you want to be mindful of is just as you want to make sure that your nutrient solution, right, your sweet tea, cools down, you also want to make sure then that frozen culture warms up. All right? So think of it like, um, I don't know, a PB&J sandwich coming together in perfect unity. I'm sure if I had more time and scripted this, I'd come up with a better analogy. But uh, really, when you incorporate your kombucha culture, your kombucha starter tea, your kombucha nutrient solution, all in your kombucha container, they should all be the same temperature. That is your kombucha quick tip, and uh, keep the questions coming.